Welcome back guys this is Vishu from Savage Camp and in today's video we are going to look at CH mod. So in the last video we saw that with a detailed view you will see the user and the group that has access to this file and there were some uh, characters like this which shows the permissions for this file. So in this video we will see what these stand for and in the next video I will show you how to change them properly. So if I open my sublime text you will see that I have this file over here and these are the permissions. So I have broken this down into three categories. So the first one is a dash that you should ignore. If it is a directory then this would show a D. I can show you just now like I can do a make directory test. And if I do an LL, you will see a D in here because this is a directory and it is in a different color. So let me bring this up again. And the first one you have to ignore because it just tells you whether the file is a file or a directory. So these th next three characters is for user. The next three are for group and the last three are for others, which means that the user who is not the user who owns the file and the user who is not part of this group everyone else have the last three characters of access. So what does this stand for? So R stands for read, W stands for write, X stands for execute and the first one is file or directory. So in case of directory this will turn into D. So you will know it's a directory. So how do we read this? So if there's an RWX, it means you can read and write and execute. So you can do all of the three. If there's an RW, that means that it is only read and write. And the dash means that this file does not have access to do that. So we cannot execute this file if there's a dash in there. In this case, the character that is missing is a W. So instead of W, it is going to have a dash, which means that we can read the file and we can execute the file, but we cannot write the file. And the last one is WX. So in this case, the read bit is missing. So we cannot read this file, but we can write into this file and we can execute this file. So these uh, are the most common ones. If you see something like this, which means that R is there, which means you can read. Nothing else is there. That means that you can only read. In this case, only W is there, which means only write. And the last one, only X is there, which means only execute. And these also have a numerical value. So the value for read is four. The value for write is two. And the value for execute is one. So if I want to show this in a numerical format, I have all the three read, write and execute. So I'm going to add these values. So four plus two plus one is seven. So read, write, execute has a value of seven. If I have read and write, which means there's four plus two. So this has a value of six. Let's go to the next one. So we have read and execute. So read is four over here. Execute is one. So this is going to be five and write and execute is write is two and execute is one. So it's going to be three. And this value is just four. This value is just two. And this value is just one. So that is how you represent this in numerical format. So if I want to show this value, this would be seven because it has everything. Then we will go over here. This will also be seven and this is going to be six. So if I do a CH mod 776, it is going to give me this permission. So it is important to understand these values because uh, you're going to use that in CH mod. And the other ones that you can use is where you use the U. So let me make this over here. User is going to be U. And then group 
is going to be let me bring it over here group is going to be G and others is going to be O the reason I'm telling you this is because when you have to change permissions you can do chmod 776 to get this permission and then the file name or if you want user to have read write act and execute you can do u plus rwx so that is going to give the user permissions to read write execute you can do u minus rwx that is going to take the user's permission to read write and execute so you can do things like that with u and g or you can use the numbers we will see that in the next video in this video this is all i wanted to show you like uh, rwx stands for read write execute which has numerical values of 4 2 and 1 which you can see over here and when you combine them you have to add their numerical values so read write execute is 7 read and write is 6 read and execute is 5 and write and execute is 3 so this is how you calculate these values so that is it for this video guys in the next video we will see how to add permissions or remove permissions using numerical values and alphabets so that is it for this video guys i will see you guys in the next one